Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. For today, I wanna to get into building a tourist trap in your city. So I wanted to build a Las Vegas style tourist trap. And no, it is not in the desert. It's actually surrounded by mountains. But what I wanted to do was build a tourist trap where you can only get to this tourism area by train and we have the train lines in front of you just kind of show what is going on currently in my city so let's get started with how this tourist trap came to be so first and foremost you can tell on the screen we are we're, we're running out of room like literally we were running out of room and we wanted to use that train line and we wanted to buy more tiles but buying more tiles we just really that didn't that really didn't do much for us, to be honest with you. Buying more tiles would not have been the appropriate place to build the tourist trap. So if you zoom out a little bit and you can see the whole map, we're gonna go up to the northern part of the map. And I found this absolutely pre-made, beautiful, beautiful, like you can see that there's already a a cruise ship port. Like it's, it's kind of like a bay where cruise ship can dock and it's just an absolutely beautiful plot of land that I thought we could build our tour shop we have plenty of room for residential we had our tourism area and it was just overall this was a perfect plot of land and like I mentioned before the only the only way in and out where is us using the Hogwarts Express or the train so problem number one is all of these tiles so how do you actually open up all the tiles so to begin i actually needed to find the 81 tile mod so the 81 tile mod is on the city skyline steam workshop and as you can tell i am scrolling down to it i know i know i was going at like a snail's pace but i was literally trying to find it like when you have so many mods like oh my god it's a lot but what you'll do is you'll hit the unlocked all areas once you click on that what will happen is you can click it a couple times don't worry you can click it and what will happen is you'll hit the x out button and it will unlock all 81 tiles so right now you can see all of those tiles that we didn't have we now currently have and honestly it's a really good you know you can see on the screen that everything is unlocked so now let's get over to our tour strap and start to build it so the very first thing I needed, I needed, I wanted to do was I needed to clear out all of these trees. I wanted a completely naked pallet and where I can work from. So here are the trains or well, here's the train line. And right here, I figured a train station would be the best placed. It would be best placed here essentially. And so I decided to use a normal basic train station and what I'm trying to do right now is just to get that layout where we can actually place down the train station. So as everybody already knows in City Skylines, you cannot place a train station, just you can't plop it without a road. So we placed down the train station and now we wanted to get our layout. Now I, I like how centered and I like how far away th that train station is from the actual train tracks itself. So what we now need to do is we need to, to create around it. This is going to be our grand entrance to our tour stair. So make sure you connect your train lines. I think that's one thing a lot of people, um, you know, don't rush. Make sure you give them a little bit of leeway like I did so that if the trains do stack up, it doesn't absolutely destroy your traffic. So now that we have the train station in place, what is the next thing we have to do? And I know 99% of you are going to murder me, but we need to add parking lots. Now, the reason behind the parking lots, besides they look cool, is that, remember, this is the only way in and out of our tourist trap area. So if there's any locals living there, they have to come to this train station to go to our city. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible. I, I know, I know. But this, this for right now, we have no highway entrance at all. This is a train station only entrance and how to get to and from this part of the city. So now that we have the parking lots in place, I did add a park in the middle of it just to glam it up a little bit. So what we'll do next is we'll create a one way street to get in and out of our parking lot and train area. What we'll do is we'll just, we're gonna freehand this road 
Yeah, we're trying our best to make it look nice. I think that looks good. I think, I think overall that turn looked good. And what we'll do is we'll actually, since this is a one way road, what we'll do is we will connect up our medium size road over here. Now, the reason why we need the medium size road, well, or a large road, but we need a larger road because this is going to be our main arterial road in and out of our city. And this is going to basically be connecting everything to the city itself. So now that we have our road in place, I did want to place it down a little bit better than it originally was doing. Then again, like I mentioned before, I wanted to create a one way road system. So now that we have our train station in place, oh my God, we are five minutes and 46 seconds in and we only have a gosh darn train station, but hey, it looks good. I got to say, I like the way it looks. I like the park in front of it. And I like the parking lots around it. So now that we have our train station in place, our Hogwarts Express, yeah, I know. I, for some reason with trains and Hogwarts Express, I don't know, Harry Potter is on the mind. Anyways. Now that we have that in place, let's start to build up our tourist traps. So the next main thing I wanted to build around, remember, there's tourism. So what does tourism need? It needs tourists. Yes. Oh my God. Ding, 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 ding. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a cruise port. That is one of the most prominent things we can build in this tourist trap because, hey, what do cruise ships bring to your city and sea skylines? The answer is tourists and who's going to come visit tourists to our tourist trap. So now that will we, so now that gives us two, it gives people two options on how to get in and out of our tourist trap. So you can either take a cruise ship and then, or take the train. So now next I am going to speed this up a tiny bit because I feel like everybody has seen how to build cue walls. So I did want to place down some of the, those cue walls just to make it look nice. And I will eventually fix them later on, but I did just want to add those. So it kind of, kind of started to, it's starting to come together a little bit. So as for the layout, now we wanted to make sure that we are continuing that main arterial road. We want it to hug. So I wanted to follow that train line. So it's not next to it, but it's enough. It's, it's parallel. Yeah, it is next to it, but it's parallel enough to where it looks good. And I didn't, you know, just follow the contour of what you're already given in city skylines. That is literally the name of the game. Like, I think if you see City Planner, he's like, follow the train, follow, you know, just so very simply, we just followed the train tracks that were a part of the map. So what we're getting into now is going to be our meat and potatoes of our tour strap. Like, like we want the centerpiece of our build to be, ooh, look at that bridge. Oh my God. I hate when it does that. So anyways, I had to upgrade that and fix it. Now everything's flat, but over here, wow. And it's still watch. We're going to click. Yep. Make sure it's on the ground. Yeah. Don't, oh my gosh, don't do that. Anyway. So now that we have, so we'll have buildings on our queue wall and right next to our cruise ship port. But remember this cruise ship port is the most prominent part of our build. Because remember, this is where most of our, like, I would say a major, not a majority, but I would say about two thirds of our tourists will actually come from cruise ships themselves. So what we're trying to do is we need to build a kind of like a city center, but for tourism, does that make sense? And what we're going to do is we do need to make sure that we have a good layout in place and we do need more parking lots. So again, you're going to ask why more parking lot sports monkey? Excellent question. Well, again, we have tourists coming to and from the port and people will need to park their cars. So welcome to being an American YouTube city skyline channel where we love parking lots. I know, I know that's embarrassing, but honestly, I think that works well because you know, instead of having green space, we have a parking lot. Oh my God. I can't believe I just admitted that. So instead of a green space, but everything is slowly starting to turn around and starting to look nice. I'm really liking our start so far. So now that we have that parking lot in place, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a really nice 
layout for our tourism area. So you're going to see a lot of um, grids, but that is on purpose because a lot of tourism, a lot of things went. So I went on a cruise. I don't know if any of you have seen my last couple videos, but I did add a couple cruise videos in there. And if you ever see any of the ports in my cruise videos, every single port, very high density, very clustered together like everything like shopping wise very close together and it's kind of like this so that's where i kind of got this layout just in mind where i kept that in mind so what i'm doing next is once i have the layout in place what i needed to do is i wanted to create the tourism district building so i wanted you know i wanted to bring tourism and these are going to be tourism buildings i know that's like some really crazy common sense so now that we have everything in place layout wise i want that main central area i want i want it to look really good and i feel like we need kind of like a headquarters or like a mayor's office and i figured out that the tax office was absolutely perfect because we can detail around it so the tax office fit wonderfully it honestly it fit really well actually it fit really really well now what i'll do that on next is put two parks on the side of it and we'll create kind of like a what like just a little bit of kind of like a park you know just where people can walk around visit and we want we want traffic and i know i'm going over some of the parking lots with the path what i'll do is i'll use bob later on and i'll make sure <laughs> oh my god i have to use bob later on yes but i'll use that mod and i'll make sure that those parking lots disappear and that they're not usable now that we have our tax office in place, I did want to create something really cool just as a, like a feature. I know this is the back part of our tax office, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure I wanted to add a little bit of detailing. So I'm adding what's called from the city skyline steam workshop. It's called the curb asset. So this is kind of like a curb on the road, but you can, you're, basically creating the curb yourself it's kind of like using a fence but not a fence because it's a curb so i tried to get the curb as close to the corners as possible to keep it rectangular now the next thing i did want to use was i was searching for some of the pools so the pools used are from the city skyline steam workshop and what i wanted to do was i just wanted to add a couple of these pools separate individual pools but kind of keep them as close together as possible and the whole point about this is i wanted to create a really cool water feature and oh my god those three pools fit amazing holy cow they fit at they, wow that was amazing that that fit way better than i thought now i do need to add concrete around it and i do need to level these off but the next thing we will do around here is um I, i'm just searching for a certain asset and let's see if i can find it really really quick so the asset i'm looking for is the water fountains again like if you have eight thousand million you know assets like i do it is a little bit harder to find some of your assets when you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and sc does, guys in the comment section below like have you ever felt like you're scrolling forever and you couldn't find the asset you're looking for anyways those are our founds i think that's a really cool detail for behind our mayor's office that's not a mayor's office i thought they worked and looked really cool i did want to raise them up a little bit off the ground together because we are uneven and I will eventually fill that in. Um, but I did want to raise them up a tiny bit together. So, so far, unbelievable start in our tourist trap. Seriously, I love those fountains and I love the way they look. So now that those water fountains are in place and, you know, it's like the Bellagio in Vegas. Remember, we we're going for a Vegas style build. But what we need to do is we need to add some of the commercial buildings because, hey, we're going to need our tourism to fill in. Now we did place down these um, these buildings that right there. They were like little shops from the City Skylines Green Cities DLC. I think those shops worked out very very well, and I thought that thought it was just a cool add to that part of our city. So overall, I'm we are off to an excellent start. If you're still watching, smash that like button. I seriously greatly appreciate it. So now we're going to add a medium sized road and you're going to be like why on earth are we over here 
And I know you're going to be like, well, why are we over here? Well, what we need, so tourism has lots of goods that you need to sell. And so instead of having an issue where it says not enough goods to sell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a generic industrial area. And the reason behind that is those goods from this generic area will go perfect. They, they'll go right to our tourism district. And I also did need to add some of our basic services like electricity, water, and whatnot. So now that we have our basic industry layout in place, what I wanted to do next was I wanted to add a cargo train station. So again, instead of just relying on the generic industry i felt like we needed to get some sort of cargo in and out of the city well in and out of our town but mainly importing i, I felt like that was really important just to make again we did not need the issue of not enough goods to sell when you know the tourism districts they take up way they they require way 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 more goods and services and educated people. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are creating tourism. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you have enough, um, you know, ways that you're able to get goods in and out of that tourism part of your city. Um, right now, again, on the screen, I'm just trying to get a layout for the cargo train station. Honestly, I did the, I, I essentially built the same, I, I, I built the cargo train station the same way because you have to build it on a road. So that was a that was pretty i would say overall pretty pretty simple and now i'm just trying to connect everything up so like i previously mentioned make sure you connect up your train lines and i know that's easier said than done but obviously give them some leeway um you know make sure some of these cargo trains are freaking huge so they do need that extra access road just to get they're trained to fit and not absolutely destroy your train traffic. Now, I know that's sometimes impossible, so I completely understand that. But again, this area is going to have a one-way street to get in and out of our cargo because remember, cargo train stations, they require a lot. It's basically, there's a lot of traffic essentially. And that's why I wanted just to make sure that traffic will be taken care of and that we're not gonna freak out you know and have a huge traffic jam in our cargo train station area so again we're just speeding this up it is a one way in and out of our cargo train station here's something to keep in mind though like when you are um building this make sure you use the node controller kind of separate out everything so it just looks good overall um don't forget also to add the tmpe traffic manager make sure that all of the lanes are connected now you're gonna be like well why are you using the lane connector we don't want our cargo to make a ue and cause more traffic we don't need a truck to make a gigantic u-turn that is not great honestly that that honestly is not good for traffic and not good for all of us so what i wanted to do over here also was to add a basic q wall and this q wall very simple use the movement mod and just you know make it look like you know it is going underground just make it a little bit make it look a little bit more realistic so again i'm using the movement mod just to move everything over i will clean it up shortly so that shouldn't really be a problem so now that we have our industrial area and some of our tourist trap laid out, what I needed to do was, well, a couple things. So I wanted to create a residential area and you're gonna be like, well, we're gonna call it Greenwich, Connecticut. So just to let you know, and we're gonna use the big suburb style buildings. So I did wanna create kind of like a you know high end area for our residents in this area now you're gonna ask why on earth are you adding residential well like i mentioned kind of before with the not enough goods to sell problem what also happens is you need to have employees that work the casinos you need to have them work the parks work your museum so they need employees still so what i did was just a very basic yeah i'll call it a very basic um layout for you know just a grid and just try to get as many residential areas as possible so again we need to make sure we add our schools and stuff like that but i will fast forward this because this is not the main part of our build so now that we're done with the residential area again i didn't want to show you guys that because that was just i just threw that in there and i i just didn't feel proud of it anyways the next thing i wanted to do was i wanted to create 
hotels because hey this is tourism you know we need hotels so what i did was i added a couple of hotels and what i wanted to do was i wanted to terraform and take away parts of the mountain because i felt like those mountain sides were way 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 too close to our hotels so now that we added a few more things of flatland, what I wanted to do is I want to start to detail this area. And what I did with some of these hotels was I added a few different pools. Now I did, I did show a smaller pool, but I wanted to add a very large pool and just to make sure it fit. Remember all these resorts, you know, they're going to have places to eat. They're going to have well, casinos, obviously, because it's a tourism area. But um, we wanted to have a nice pool area where people can hang out, um, suntan and whatnot. And just to make sure that, you know, it's it feels like a resort area. So what I did was I added a giant pool. I filled in the concrete as best as possible. I think most of us know that using the Surface Painter mod, is, it's tough because you can't get it exact, but you can do the best you can. So what I wanted to do after I had all that in place with my detailing was I wanted to add bushes and I noticed that you can't add bushes directly. So what I had to do was I had to place them. So I wanted these hedges and bushes, you know, instead of just making it look like a boring fence, I felt like the hedges against the walls of, well, the fence. I just thought it looked a little bit more interesting doing it like that. That's just my personal opinion. So what I started to do was I started to detail. I used the city skylines, plaza and promenades, um, the table and umbrella. Now what's really cool about that is that they come out in different colors. So overall, like I love adding the color. I wanted to add more detailing to it. Um, just like a drink shack, like a place where you can grab drinks right along there. Again, this is a tourism resort style. So I, you know, just, I just had that in mind when I was building this. I also added this plaza with more tables and I felt like this, I could use this as a park. That's what I felt like. I wanted to attract people here because guess what? Those are considered parks. The little plaza I just added with all the tables and chairs. So I wanted, you know, I wanted to make sure that people were going to be here. People were going to come hang out at our hotel. You know, people, you know, it's just, a, it's a place to be. And I felt like adding those w was just a really, really, really nice touch. And, you know, just detailing wise, it just made everything look so much nicer and it just, it, it created a really cool resort vibe and I, I was really happy with that. So now remember guys, this is just one resort that I detailed in this whole thing, like holy cow. So what I want to do was I want to make sure I had trees and whatnot just to make everything blend in. And again, this is a resort. So I, by the way. Later on in this video, you're going to see that all those palm trees literally disappear. So I, I have no idea. So you can see I placed them, but I have no idea why they disappeared. So what I'm doing next is I'm actually searching for another plaza where I wanted to add two of those. So the plaza to the right wanted to... So by adding another plaza again, it just kind of brought every thing together. And I used the move it mod just to move it and just to overall love absolutely love the way that resort turned out so now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep adding a few more resorts and using a few more monuments around this area so the next thing that i did want to add was a top golf anybody who lives in the southern united states would completely understand what top golf is it's one of the coolest things you can actually do um, you can go golfing and eat at like basically you eat at you know at a restaurant you eat at a table and at Top Golf, you eat at a table, but you're able to hit golf balls. And I thought it was like one of the coolest things I've ever done. A little expensive, but one of the coolest things I've ever done. And I was very happy with the way I, I, did, I played Top Golf. Not happy with the way, but it was a cool experience that in Buffalo, New York, where it's cold as hell um, all the time, it's it was honestly really nice to go south and to actually do that. So what I'm doing next is I am filling in uh, the more tourism buildings and i'm adding to our overall area part of our hotel chain so as you can see there's a an aqua pool i moved it over where it's kind of like an all-in-one resort right now you know that hotel has a pool in the back but it also has a water park you can visit and then what i did was in front of that instead of having all buildings you know we did need some recreational space so I thought that was a really, really cool ad by me and just adding in some trees. So again, 
it is tourism because that is a park and people can visit but you know we just filled in the green space with some really really nice just some really nice trees and some really nice greenery like everything is coming together really nice a part of this tourist trap so the next thing we are going to add is a hooters and a golf <laughs> yeah a what was it no it was a fitness club sorry it was a gym and what I also want to do is I, I did want to add a couple more monuments. I did add the Colossal Order Center. Um, I did have I did have that castle on the water, but I didn't want the cruise ships to get in the way. But then I ended up adding the theater and then I added the opera house. I, I just felt like everything kind of fit in really, really well. Like actually too well. Like this is something it looked it kind of felt like I actually planned something in City Skylines where, you know, not everything works out great when you're creating these things in city skylines but you know it is what it is and this actually turned out really well so there is our lovely opera center and yeah i moved the opera center i moved it back over i got rid of the road re-added road and then i filled in this with a lovely park and i filled it in with concrete so by the way guys if you don't use service painter oh my god you need to get service painter mod from the city skylines the city skylines steam workshop so now that everything is in place here is the final results of everything filled in now i didn't want to show all one hour and five minutes of me detailing but here is the finished product of our tourist trap and i feel like everything turned out amazing even with those parking lots that many of you are like you're so american sports monkey but Overall, I feel like the hotels and all the tourist buildings, I feel like everything looks absolutely amazing and perfect. And here's a zoomed out view. You can see we did add a few more resorts and here is our extremely, extremely busy train station. And we do have trains that come in 600 passengers a train. So we do have people coming and going in and out of the Hogwarts Express. Sorry, I don't know why I just sang. That was really embarrassing. Anyways, I don't know if that drive carefully, but um, any, I thought it was just a nice touch for a sign. But overall, everything looks really good so far. Here is our cruise port. We have cruise ships coming in and there it is docking. Now I will say, I do want to add more to this bay, but I just need to make sure that we're not hitting the actual cruise port itself. Like I want to give the cruise ships enough space where they're, they're docking and not bumping into anything, which is hard to do. But overall, you can see we did add a ton of different detailing. We did add a lot of the monument buildings that will bring us our, you know, bring us guests essentially. Like here's the luxury hotel. Oh my God, 3,200 a week and we're only getting 19 guests. Oh boy, we have, we have a long, long, long way to go. But other detailing that I wanted to add in here was, hey, there is a not filled in pond area and there is the construction site. So just something different rather than plopping down some water and be like, all right, here's more fountains like I did in my city skylines mall um build and look at that casino it's called loss loss like what what that is that I, I i don't understand that that's from the city skyline steam workshop also but apparently we're at the loss casino but anyways here is the real generic casino and as you can see we did a lot of detail wow four thousand dollars a week for a normal casino holy cow no wonder i'm poor Anyways, I do have the casino sign and then I realized it's literally the wrong way as I was recording this, but you can see a ton, a ton of detailing went into this. Like look at the silver wind casino. You can see we have more fountains. I do love, love, love those fountains with more detailing of the pergolas and more of the places to sit. Um, we do have our hooters. Woo hooters. If you're, if you know, you know, and then I did add the Korean food alley. Um, I thought that was a really good add too. It fit really, really well. Now guys, if you're still watching, hit the like button, hit the like button. I felt like, honestly, I know this is going to sound stupid, but I felt like that actually fit the back part of my build very, very well. I don't know why, but it, it felt like it fit really, really, really well. Anyways, here is more of our hotels. We do have a construction site because well, I felt like it was awkward just being 
green and empty. So I felt like a construction site actually worked out really well. So both of our hotels look absolutely beautiful, especially our pool area. Um, you guys saw me build that and you could see that some of my palm trees are gone. I mentioned that earlier in my video. I don't know where they went, but you can see there's three of them. So eventually I did have palm trees. I just don't know where they went. But anyways, those plaza restaurants are really nice because, well, you're able to get people to visit it. So I thought that was a really, really nice ad. And also don't be afraid. There's what's called the roadside playground. Again, another really good place just to add people to get there. You know, basically it's a park and people are coming to visit. So overall, I really, really did enjoy detailing all of this. There is our top golf. There is the happy birthday Plaza City Skyline. So for City Skyline, City Skyline's eighth birthday, um, they created that during the update. So overall, everything looked and turned out amazing. Like I love our detailed area. I love our Colossal Order offices. I love the Theater of Wonders. I love the Opera House. Like those all fit perfectly and the really good tour straps. I did create a City Skyline's amusement park and I thought this was, this is the future of our tour strap because look how cool that area is where you can walk up, watch the cruise ships park in the terminal and just overall looked really, really, really nice. And I did add some rock detailing so it's not just, you know, cue walls everywhere and stuff like that. So overall, very, very, very happy with the way everything turned out. Here is our one-way cargo train station. Yeah, I know that's not sexy or cool to look at, but like you can see that our generic industry is absolutely taking off and it's providing enough goods for our tourist trap area. I think that's the most important thing because we did not need like half the buildings to show up and be like, hey, we don't have not enough goods. And you know, again, it is, you know, it is what it is, but overall guys, you know, what did you guys think of this build? I think it turned out absolutely amazing. I'm just really happy with how we created this tourist trap around that mountain. And we have a self-sustaining part of the city that's going to end up making us a lot of money here in city skylines. Now I did add a residential area. I know we planned it out. You can see it on the screen in front of you. I, to be honest with you, I just... There, there's nothing special about that yet. I think I'm going to rebuild that. That's probably one of my next things to do is to rebuild that because I just plopped it down. It's very, very, very boring and generic. Remember the main build is the tourist part. So like the main, everything you see in front of you, that was the meat and potatoes part of this build. So guys, again, what do you guys think of this build? Did you enjoy it? Did you think I needed to change anything? Like I did like a lot of detailing off camera and I think it turned out great. So please let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of this build? Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.